Combat is one of the main places mistakes happen in Dungeons & Dragons. As a DM, you're busy spinning so many dinner plates from your party's abilities to your own monsters. Even archaic rulings that never come up but you're supposed to know anyways. Your brain is overloaded with so much information that sometimes you misstep and a plate stops, falls, and shatters. Luckily, in Foundry VTT, there's a module that takes the burden off of you and allows you to free up some of that brain space. Defred's Cavenia Effects is a module that helps simplify the hardest to remember part of Dungeons & Dragons, the status effects. Once downloaded from the add-on page, you'll see an immediate change of the status menus of tokens. Instead of a mismatch of random icons that you tried to remember what icon you used for what status effect, you now have a clean, concise list of symbols that just at a glance you can tell what they are used for. So how does this simple change actually help? Well, while each icon is tied to a status effect, it will say in chat what that status effect does when the status is applied to the token. This allows you to just give a quick glance at chat to remind yourself what the status effect does. It also pops up when the effect is removed from the token as well. By default, everyone can see these status changes in chat, along with the creature's name, but there is a setting where only the GM can see these changes. Now, status effects aren't the only thing added by CE. It also adds a long list of spells and features from the rulebook. This allows basic automation of features and spell effects, when to track rage damage, and an effect for that. Don't want to do the math with Path Without a Trace? There's an effect that adds plus 10 to just their stealth rolls. So how does one apply these effects? The module adds two new buttons on the left side of the screen, one that leads to the compendium of all the effects, and the other a quick way to remove effects from tokens selected. Find yourself using an effect more often than usual? You can drag and drop an effect up into the favorite folder, making it a handy place where constantly apply things like mage, armor, or rage. To apply these effects to a token, you just need to have a token selected and then left click from the list of effects. The creation of a custom effect is unchallenging, just hit create effect. This will bring up a new effect window. This is where you can add effects like rolling an extra d4 for certain rolls or having a flat plus 10 to stealth rolls to the feature. Then when the feature is applied to a token, these effects are automatically applied as well. And when it's removed, it is removed as well. This is great for spells and the like where it isn't a constantly on effect. But the greatest power of Kavina effects is the integration with a few other modules. The best will of course come last. The first is active token effects. This module allows you to change the status of tokens through effects. This is great if you want to apply the dark vision spell to a human and want their vision to actually change. These effects are listed under ATL in the effects dropdown. Almost any token changes here, from light distance to its color, even its animation can be changed within this module. Want fairy fire targets to give off a soft glow when they fail their save? ATE has you covered. Token Imagine Effects is another module that CE has integration with. You will need dynamic active effects in addition to it to fully run it. These modules allow you to apply certain animated effects or tokens just from the effects tab. These effects are under the macro.token magic listing. These effects are great if you want to emphasize magical effects such as blur or mage armor. Just choose from the list the best looking magic effect. The best and final module that integrates with CE is MIDI Quality of Life. While I did go over some of the things it does in my top 5 must-have modules for Dungeon Master, it was just a brief overview. Here, the baseline is that MIDI QOL with CE will handle all instances of advantage and disadvantage from status effects automatically. That means if a creature has the restraint condition, attack rolls from it are at disadvantage, and attack rolls to him are at advantage. This means you don't have to worry about forgetting if one of your player's attacks has advantage or not. The modules handle that for you. But the greatest thing about this combo is the automatic reading of CE's effects and the automatic applying of them. Not just the status effects, but the spell effects as well. Cast Bless. The targets now automatically have the CE's Bless applied to them, making them roll at an additional D4 whenever making a saving throw or attack roll automatically. No more having to remind your players that they should roll a D4. This also includes Bardic Inspiration. This saves so much time and effort for the whole party especially when dealing with concentration. Together, both MIDI, QOL, and CE track when a concentration spell has applied an effect to someone, causing them to lose that effect once the caster loses concentration. No longer do you have to track any of this manually, allowing you to think more about the tactics of the fight, and not spending five minutes looking up what a status does, or even worse, reversing a call because you remember the person was prone and that bow attack from the rogue should have been at disadvantage. 
The full list of modules will be in the description below. And since you're down there already, make sure to hit subscribe so that you'll be alerted when I post my next video. Until next time.